Whenever news of you filters back, the school is excited and proud of your accomplishments. Hold on a second. I think the opening scene with the guy on the bike while Joan Cusack is t filling him in, reading out loud his invitation to his reunion as everything gets built up and then leads to this assassination, this botched thing. It's pretty great. The fight between uh, Cusack and Benny the Jet Arquitas in the hallway. Incredible, great fight scene dropped into an otherwise hilarious movie. Some companion moments to that. When the assassin following him shows up to his reunion, goes up to the tray of uh, the table of of name cards, picks one up and goes, it is I, Sidney Feldman. And he's clearly not, and they're all like, oh, you've changed. Hilarious moment. Save a dance for me now. After John Cusack, uh, spoiler alert, stabs him in the throat with the pen to kill him, then goes back to the guy who gave him the pen. It's like, take care of yourself, Ken. Thank you for the pen. Oh, yeah, sure. What else? Oh, when uh, Bobby Beamer does the poetry, Hilarious moment. But here's the thing, the best moment from Gross Point Blank is actually not even a funny moment. Because, um, you know, he's an assassin, disconnected from his family, they don't really talk about it, goes back to find his mom, his mom's in a mental hospital, he's like, what happened to all the money I sent you, what's going on here, his house is knocked down. But they never mention his dad, they never bring it up. And there's one scene where he goes into a, a graveyard, there's a Joe Strummer song playing, he just stands in front of a grave, pours a bottle of whiskey on it, drops the whiskey, it's his same last name, and you're like, oh, I just learned everything I need to know about his relationship with his dad, without a word. I think it's beautiful. I think it's great. I could keep going. Let alone the soundtrack. We haven't even talked about the soundtrack, one of the best soundtracks ever.